I was saying it is familiar to us to read the word of God while standing. But I can understand that you were feeling tired because we spent a long time singing and dancing. Let's read the gospel written by John. I was about to read the long chapter read, read by the moderator of the service, the long chapter of Psalms. Because I am about to explain what he didn't go through. The mercy of the Lord. The love of God. Let's read in the gospel according to John chapter 13. Ndava kumurongo wa makumyabiri numwe kugera kuri makumyabiri numunane We start by verse 21 through to 28 Yesu amaze kuvuga atyo ahagari ku mutsima arahamya ati nokuri nokuri ndababwira yuko umwe muri mwe ari bugambanire abigishwa bararebana uko batari bazi uwavuze uwariwe hari humwe ubigishwa be wari wiseguye igituza cya Yesu bafungura uwo ni wa wundi Yesu yakundaga Simoni Petero aramurembuza aramubaza ati mubaze umubaze uwavuze uwariwe uwo ahengamira inyuma aho yarari mu gituza cya Yesu aramubaza ati data buja ninde Yesu aramusubiza ati uwo ndi bukoreze kinogo nkayimuha ni uwo nuko akoje jinogo arayenda ayiha Yuda Iskariota mwene Simoni hanyuma yo guhabwa iyo nogo nibwo satani yamwijiyemo nuko Yesu aramubwira ati icukora gikore vuba ariko nta numwe wo muri wo mubari bicaye basangira nawe wamenye cyatumye amubwira atyo deka nongere some mu butumwa bwiza nkuko bwanditswe na Yohana According, according to the gospel written by John, still that's where we are. We have already read in the gospel according to John, but now we are about to read the first episode of John. The first episode of John, chapter 4. You know the episodes of John are towards the revelation. Urwandiko uh, rw'ambere gice cyakane ndasoma umurongo wa 10. The first epistle of John chapter 4 verse 10. Uh, umurongo wa 10 yaravuga ngo muri iki nimo urukundo ruri suko twebwe twakunze imana. Ahubwo nuko imana ariyo yadukunze igatuma umwana wayo kuba impongano y'ibyaha byacu. Ndumva dushobora kwika hasi. You may now take your seat. Na hagurukanye jambo ryiza cyane numvise ryabanje kumpindura. I rose up with a very wonderful word that transformed the first. Ijambo nise guhishurirwa urukundo rw'Imana. A word that I themed to be revealed of the love of God. Guhishurirwa urukundo rw'Imana. To be revealed of the love of God. Once again today I loved John but still I used to love him. Among the powerful writers of the Bible John is among them. He wrote five powerful books. One of them in the gospel the good news according to John plus the three episodes of John and the book of Revelation. And among those books 
igitabo cy'ubutumwa bwiza nkuko bwanditswe na Yohana The Gospel according to John ni igitabo cy'umwihariko is a very particular book niga kuba umushumba when i started to be an apprentice in pastors umu missionary wanozaga gushumba itorero the missionary that used to be my coach in leading the church uh, yaragiye akora photocopy yudutabo ubutumwa bwiza bwa Yohana bigera ngo kugihumbara zizana he went and made a duplicate of the gospel according to John into a thousand books and he brought them to me hanyuma ndamubaza ngo se ko wagize ubutumwa bwiza nkuko bwanditswe nka Yohana ukabugira ibitabo byinshi ukabirunda muri biro kandi ni wazana isezerano risha ryuzuye and I asked him the reason why he picked only the gospel according to John in the entire Bible and he made a duplicate of that book and brought it to my office. And he told me in the days to come you will have so many people getting saved in the church and when people are just getting saved you don't take them in the revelation you don't take them to the Deuteronomy you don't take them to the book of Numbers you don't take them in the prophecies of Micah and Haggai the good thing is for them to start reading the gospel according to John. This is the only book that tells about Jesus and make people love in Jesus and takes them to the love of Jesus. When you get to the love of Jesus and you go to the Bible and find yourself and I was so shocked. I wondered about the gospel according to John in the entire Bible. But I started studying this book. You remember the teachings we had about John 3.16. The God loved the world so much he gave his only begotten son. Philosophers like to take the book of John as the book of the love of God. Then they call John apostle Love. The apostle of love. Yes, I Praises to the Lord. Two reasons of this name. The first one. He's among the few men that wrote a lot about the love of God. The same likened to the psalm we read. Talking about the mercy of God in all the verses, the mercy of God equals to the love of God. You would not be merciful if you don't have love. You would not be loving without mercy. You would not know where one started, one ends. It starts by love and it ends in mercy. When it starts in mercy, it finds itself in the love. But God loved us because of his mercy and he takes us to him and his presence for the love of God because of the mercy of God because of his grace to walk in his love verses to Jesus let's give an applause to the Lord the second amazing reason John is called the apostle of love. When you talk about something a lot, you become that very thing you talk about. It changes you. When you wake up in the morning talking about promises, the moment you see them, it will change your life. In the morning, if you read the word of God, it will change your soul. If you wake up talking about love, you were just speaking about the tongue of love. When you talk about love a lot, you are changed by love. 
When you read a lot about the books written by John, at one point you will see that he talks about beloved. John is the only one who started a chapter by beloved. Beloved, beloved. That is the saying he started with. It is the same saying Paul adopted. Because beloved is not a word used by anybody. Beloved is a saying used by the people full by love. I wish the word of today would call us beloved. Because in this day the word is giving us so different names. It changes our names and it titles us by the problems we have. Yet the word needs people who say, Beloved, we are children of God. Yes, I must. Praises to God. In John 13, 13 21, Namakuru Ijoro Gachaga Yesu Agamanirwa. This is a story about the night before Jesus was crucified. I know maybe you thought me talking about the Passover. But this is a very good news. And because I talked about so many things, I will just pick one word. The word that says the disciple whom Jesus loved. This is the word that I picked. Yes, I Praises to Jesus. If you want to know yourself, uh, look at your friends. The wrong friends, poisonous uh, friends, they will make you to be a witch doctor. The friends coming from vacation, they will make you a fornicator. When your friends are thieves, you also become a thief. When you have prayerful friends, you become prayerful. When you have good friends, they make you to be a good person. When you have to so make talking friends, you also talk meekly. The way you are is according to your friends. So I advise you to change your relations for your life to be changed. Yes, I am. Praises to Lord Lord. There is nothing I loved about Jonas this one. To be called a friend of Jesus. To be called the one whom Jesus loves. It is very amazing. To be the disciple lo loved by Jesus. This is the word that made me to study more about John. Let me just mention a few things. Johanna, John is the only one mentioned by the Bible the one leaning in the bosom of Jesus while they were having supper he came sitting before Jesus and he leaned on him his head on his bosom he would talk to others having the head of John in the bosom of Christ you have seen that Peter told him ask him instead of turning he just turned his head because already he was on his bosom they just had to lean on one another he's the only one I saw no one else I saw in the bosom of Christ yes, praises to Christ Johanna, John is the only one to whom Jesus mentioned about the person to hang him. And Peter told him, ask him. It reminded me how we live with people. It reminded me how I live with Christians. 
in recent days some young people in the church had an activity they wanted no, no, to carry out and they wrote to me asking me for a slot in time time. I was so busy in so many things so they sat together and they, and they said if we send this person to the pastor he's the only one he can accept <laughs> so amazingly he's the one who got me. It is not because I did not want others. Because it was a coincidence. So we talked together. After talking, and they asked me if we had not sent this person, we could not have gotten rid of you. So it was so saddening to me. But I also remembered in my kids, I have so young kids, when they have great things to tell me, there is one they sent to me. They are very sure he's the only one who dares. When he comes to me, he just comes and meets me and he calls on my hand and he talks to me and he asks me silly things. When he starts about silly things, that's when I know ah, he has something to tell me. And he says, Daddy, can you take us out? And I asked me, who sent you? They advised me and found that I was the only one to dare ask you. So all, all the disciples were together with Jesus. Jesus. Jesus told them about someone to betray him. When he talked about that, Peter motioned John. He knew nobody else would dare ask Jesus. There was a great secret there. He was about to tell them the people he got out of their family. The people he got out of their professions. The sons of Zebedee, he found them on the shore. The people he called to be disciples to follow him. He was about to tell them, among you, you have a betrayer. It was not anybody to ask Jesus. So they sent John. When they sent John to ask him, because John was in a strong relationship he didn't take him in a private he was already on his bus he just turned and asked him who is that he whispered he said the one you will pick from the plate together there are news you will not tell anybody there are news you tell your friends there are news you tell your friends you tell your class friends that I God will say only one person available it is not in Sodoma there are so many people in Gomorrah there are so many people in Haman but Jesus presence but the day God has to say those secrets he went to Abraham his lover and he told him go to that I cannot destroy it unless I tell you first. Did you know that God sometimes looks for people to talk to? God is the one first person who loves advisors. Yes, I Praises to God. But he takes them out of the friends from the friends. Tell your neighbor, be a friend. Be a friend to God. A friend of God. Yes, I Praises to the Lord. He is among the three disciples. That is John. Yes, Whom Jesus worked together in a particular way. He had 70 disciples he would send. And he lived together for a long time with 12 of them. And he had three that are the closest. 
They were called the sons of thunder. And they were called the sons of thunder. Those names were their specificity. The day he went to Jairus, he left them. He went to up together with James, John, and Peter. Every time John is the one coming first. Yes, Praises to God. He comes out of the cycle of three. Now he is the only one loved by God and Jesus. Yes, I Praises to God. Something else that amazed me on John. He is the only disciple. The only one. Who went with Jesus to the cross. When Peter fled, John stayed. Imagine a man who stays when others are going. Let's give an applause to God. This man amazed me a lot. For the women to follow Jesus to the cross, they were not at great risk. Because every time someone is caught, they have to send women because women are not that violent like men. We, were, we lived in Congo where the, enemy, the soldiers were considered as enemies of the citizens. Today, maybe things have changed. But you would see a soldier and run away. You would not ask anything. You just see them and you run away. When, when they would come to the neighborhood, even the chicken would know. Just only the women. Because women are the only one who would dare go to the soldiers and rebuke them and tell them what you're doing is so wrong so, so they had to send women just to appease them now the man who would stay behind so, was not so ordinary four women made it to the cross the three Mary Mary, the mother of the Lord. Yes, I Praises to God. Maria Magdalena. Mary Magdalene. Oh, yes, I Praises to God. Na Maria and Mary, the wife of Christ. And there was the sister of Mary, the mother of the Lord. Salome. In the gospel, according to Luke, called Salome. Abobagorebane. All these four Ni women were well, the only one who made it to the cross. They stood at the cross with Mibu John. You remember the words of the Lord at the cross? There is a word he said. Woman, he is your son. Yohana, and he turned to John and said, she is your mother. All others had left. Yohana, that John is the only one who hold the mother of the Lord and brought her to his home. In another words, John is a very powerful yes, hero. Praises to but God. But to be a hero in the kingdom, you have to take it. It is not something that comes. You have to do something and God approves you. You have to do something and God walks with us. There's something we need to do and God is Pleased. Johanna John is not simple. Yes, I Praises to God. Now allow me to ask you this question. If John is called a disciple whom the Lord loves, does it come does it come on all the criteria I talked about him? Again. What does it mean? 
because five times in the Bible, John is considered as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Before I give you the meaning, let me give you the counter meaning. If I give you first the counter meaning, you will understand the meaning. There are two things it does not mean. First, it does not mean for John to be the disciple whom Jesus loved it does not mean he didn't love the others please have it first know that Jesus loved John but he never hated the others before John would say that Jesus loved him uniquely in the 13th chapter on the first verse he talks about this and he says having loved his own who were in the world he loved them to the end to the end which means until the day he accomplished the world he loved them together with Judas who betrayed him he loved him and he hated Satan behind Judas Jesus loves and he still loves he loves you the way you are the way you are those who told you are not loved they don't know the right thing to do let me repeat this a person can die without getting married someone can die without giving birth someone can die without being educated it is possible you die without knowing your family but nobody will ever die without being loved because God loved those in the world that he gave his God in the son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but all that are in the world that we have the love of God everything else will not attain you. Money cannot come. Things may not come to you. Children may not come to you. A marriage may not come to you. But you have the love. You have the love because of you. Receive the great love. Receive the great love we were loved of. That made us to be called the children of God. And the right says, indeed we are the truth. Indeed that is the truth. He loved us. So, kuba yara kunze Yohana umubatiza I mean, Yohana uri yapano umubatiza now, having loved John the disciple because this is John the disciple ntibivuga yuko does not mean he never loved the other disciples. And the second counter meaning it does not mean that Jesus loved John more than the love he had for others. So this is where I got and I felt myself so amazed. So I had to differentiate the love of people and the love of God. The love of people has it categorizes. But the love of God has no partiality. Our love we are very partial. When you tell someone I love that person so many people will ask you do you love them more than you love me? Because this is the current problem we have. When you are married to a woman, you will never dare to say that you love another woman 
Now you will see thunders coming upon you. When you are already married to a man, be careful to say that I love that other man. You will feel how you can be beaten. Because our passion is all, our love is always passion. It is about more than or less than, it is about comparison. It is about degrees, levels of comparison, variability, variability categorization. categorization. How do I say it? But the love of God is so different from that. Tell your neighbor the love of God is different. <laughs> the love of God is different. <laughs> Let me tell you about the love of people. In the morning they loved you until here. At 12 before it comes <laughs> night, it's already a half way. In the, at 3 p.m. it goes up again. At 5 p.m. it goes down. It is sinusoidal. It is sinusoidal. sinusoidal. But the love of God is not that way. It's just linear. It is linear. It is linear. It is linear. It is constant. 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 In the morning it is the same. In the day it is the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot do anything for God to reduce his love. And you cannot do anything for God to increase his love. You didn't get it. Nothing you can do for God to reduce his love. Because he loved you before you were. Before you to understand. When God talked about the Israelites. To tell them that he didn't love them because of any reason. Uh -huh, that's why Paul said he didn't love them because of their words. So that no one would boast about his own words. God told them. I loved you because I loved you. I loved you because I loved you. I love that has no end. I love that has no origin. This is the love he loved me. Let's give an applause to God. Begging on the Zavan was getting homoco. In one of the ones getting homoco. You know the love of people has a start. <sighs> temperature. It's about the temperature. <laughs> it is cold, it is hot. meet <laughs> you. When it is hot, they just send you some love. They send you so nice messages. They send you icons of WhatsApp. So now it one becomes cold. You send us chat. They just close their eyes. Or they hold their finger on the mouth. And they don't say anything. They just say anything. They just keep quiet. It is very difficult to live, to love, to live with someone who has constant, not constant love. If our love was the only liaison we had with God, we were so unfortunate. Because our love is not constant. Even the love we love God is not constant. You love him on Sunday. It is not the love you love him in weekdays. When you love him, it is because of miracle. It is because he answered your prayers. How? Because we don't have children that are successful. Because we have a job. We love God because there is a prophet. We had. And there is another love we love God when we are not successful. We have another love we love God when we are not successful. When things are not good, there's a level our love gets to. I wish we love God. We have love God, we love Him on Christmas. 
and another love we love God on Passover Christmas I mean Christmas no there are some people who can spend a year without going to church but when they know Passover or Christmas is around the corner that's where they get ready to go to church now what it means two, two or three things to be the disciple whom Jesus loves, he teaches us two or three things. The first point is to know when Jesus, to know that Jesus loves us is make, makes us to be strong in the promises and pro covenants of God. Something I studied because of meeting so many people and interacting with them. I, I learned that what you put in your brain, it holds it. Uh, when you consider something good, you get good out of it. And that's what you hear. When you fix the wrong thing in your brain, you get the wrong thing. This is why so many people prayerful these days are so desperate in their families. So many wrong prophets have already divorced their families. Let me explain this. A person would come and tell you so and so hates you. I would see people coming to me and say, in the family I got married to, they hate me. And they ask them, who told you so? And he said, the people who are prayerful are the ones who told me so. But I observed and find it to be true. Let me tell you one thing. When people tell you that so and so hate you, because they expect you to observe how they hate you, when they greet you the same way they should greet you, you have already fixed it in your mind. When they greet you alone, you will think they are so hypocrites. When they don't greet you, as you will see the hatred. What, what do you want them to do? There is something they have to fix. What they fed you is what you get. What they made you fix in your brain is what you get. Most of the times, what we fed our brain with becomes the truth and it leads us. When they tell you so and so is a witch doctor. When I got saved is the very first thing I had to struggle with. God had not yet talked to me. Every person that would preach would say God has told me. And they would tell me about so many people. All the people that were so useful in my life I had to get rid of them because they told me so and so is bad. And they would come there because we used to be friends when we want to I, I started to rebuke still calmly in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus don't come I would greet you and I go away and I go at home and kneel down and I would pray but those are not prayers that is the fear that we never take to heaven they don't have any power over you because we have the word of God the word is so strong but if my life was depending upon a son of God, I would so pitiful. A son of man just decides that one morning I will not live and I take it for granted. I think it is true. What you fed your brain with 
is you. If you fed your bread with the water, this is why Paul God. And he said the word of God, let it be in you a bound that you restore and we're causing gifts and taking away the fear. Do not hear what some of them say that he is a witch doctor. Let's say they will run away. They will come in one way and they will run away in seven ways. Say that there is no weapon forged against me that will prevail. And stand in the name of Jesus and say we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. This is how I live these days. I have been living in the world in the world. In 2011, I gave a ride to someone in my car. And this person was the topic of so many other people, and I also saw it. And he told me, you are driving cars. The days we want to get you will never go anywhere. And I told him, go and try just once. Even until today, I still drive. I drive. Even today, I still drive. Yes, I am Praises to God. What you have fixed in your mind. Now, what I mean is this. The great thing I had from this word. What John had fixed in his brain. He just took his brain and fed it the love of God. And fed it the love of Jesus. And he would say, Jesus loves me. And he would say, I am pleased by the love of Jesus. He loves me. He loves me. And the love had made him Jesus to the cross. And he loves me. He loves me. In the morning he loves me. In the day he loves me. In the evening he loves me. When I am hungry he loves me. When I am full he loves me. He loves me. When I wake up he loves me. In the city he loves me. Among the city he loves me. On the journey he loves me. He loves me. The love of God surrounds me. Hallelujah. He had fed his bread and said it's over. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. The day Paul knew this, he has said, I now know not of the things of today, not the things that will come. It is not the power of hell. It is not nakedness. It is not poverty. It is not sword. It is not poverty. Nothing shall separate me from the love of God. The love of God. The love of God. What shall I say? The second word I got. The laws. Laws will never make you connect to God. Only grace takes you to God. There is something very unusual. The laws were so hard even to the good among us. The laws were difficult to the great among us. The, were, the laws were too hard for those in salvation. The laws were too hard to those of our time, the time of the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Bible. Even Moses who received the laws were never managed to have the laws. Moses even David, the one the Bible said that God has found a man after his own heart. David himself was so wicked, he even killed one of his soldiers and got his wife at his home. There are people who think that maybe because he worked with God and because he was so righteous, he lived all those 300 years. That's not the case in the Bible. The Bible said that Enoch walked with God and God took him. When they come, come back again on him, in Hebrews I think, they said Enoch 
Enoch pleased Ali, God. But in our times, there are still people who please God. Because we can sing and his praise. When David sang and the ark of the covenant was broke back. Shadrach, Meshach, and Menego pleased God. In my life, I please God. In your life, you please God. But not a bene, what is righteousness? About laws most of the time. Which means God or Enoch walked with God on his own reason. Have you talked to a small child and you walk according to the steps? When you want to go faster than them, do you have to go according to their place? When he picks something down, you hold their hand and get it out of it. That is how God walked with Enoch. After 300 years, he took him. That is what they say. There is nowhere in the Bible that says he was never mistaken. In Romans 3.23, the Bible says they all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. That is very amazing. They never get to the glory of God. All the laws disqualified us. The standard of the grace raised us. And the laws were disqualified but the grace took us because of his mercy he endured us forever he took us through him you may think that Israelites were the only one mistaken when they were stricken by Egypt there is nothing Egyptians did while that was never done by the Israelites they were also idolatrous because remember they had a calf of gold in the wilderness. And to make it worse, they knew already God. They had seen him on the Red Sea. The most amazing point about this, they saw Moses going up on Mount Sinai and then when he came back, he found them worshipping a calf of God. The laws. The laws, I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak about three points of the laws. Love your God with your whole heart. Love your God with your whole soul. And love your God with all your strength. People of God, who can manage to do this? And second, love your neighbor as you love yourself. When you buy yourself a jacket, love them. When you buy yourself a shirt, buy for them. When you pick up your eye, do the same. When you comb your hair, comb them. When you buy a pair of shoes, buy for them. When you buy a perfume, buy for them. Are you able to do that? Even when you have so well. Even the people who are married together, you even fail to have your wealth divided into 50-50. It cannot be possible. You cannot share everything. If it was that case, you would also always have equal, equal value in what you own. The laws were too hard. But the love of God and He loved us. And He gave us His favor. He drew us to Him. And He called us a sinner. But He God loves the sinner. The two names of Peter and James Peter and John Peter means the rock and John means grace. You know the people that are called John as a, it's about grace. And the laws are the rock. 
Mercy is found in grace and love. One day Peter wanted to follow Jesus. And Peter told Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. He just dig power in himself to love Jesus. And he was convinced he will be able to do it. Peter is synonym to religion. Do not wonder if the Catholic Church is built upon Peter. It is about the laws. The synonym of religion. And Jesus looked at him. He could not treat they are tell him because he's a human being he would not. And he said, this is how it is. Before the rose will rock three times, you will have denied me. Because our love has to take us to God. But the love of God finds us where we in Texas. He's the one who loves us. We need to love him first. Our love is conditioned. But the love of God is not conditioned. I found myself in the love of God. Presence to God. I found myself in the love of God. You know what happened to Peter? It ended halfway. But John who said, I am loved by the Lord, he went up to the cross. Because when you allow the love of God to take you where you are, but when you want to lead yourself, it becomes about the laws. Yes, Praises to God. Never allow Satan to take this one away of you. You are a beloved child. The day Jesus was baptized, the Spirit of God came upon him and he said, There is my beloved son in whom I am pleased. When he said those Satan words, Satan took it away. He wanted to remove the love. And he told him, if you are the son of God, already he has removed the bracket of love. When we remove the love, we have nothing good. The grace is gone. The power of God decreases. But Jesus heard him. And he said, it is written. It is written in another words. You want to take away the love. If he had taken away the love, Jesus would have become upset. Because he was so hungry. The reason why he was not upset, he remembered the love. He remembered the despite of the angry, God loves yes, him. Praises to God. Where our love fails, it is where the love of God overcomes. A son went with his father on the stairs. They were moving books. He wanted to help his father to move books. He took so many books books in his hands and his father went upstairs when he was upstairs he, he heard the son telling him I am tired he came, run, he came down running he got where the son was and he found the son so heavy with the books instead of removing some books this is what the son was requesting he took the child and the books and carried him and carried him up to the stairs. The laws were too hard for us, but the God grace and he took us and our burdens and he took us up in the kingdom of his father. That's why we are seated. With that we are seated. Because we are conquerors. Stand up for prayer. I'm not going to mention the third point today. I will have to mention this point on Tuesday. It is still expounding in myself.
I found myself in the love of God and it became a hiding place to me. I wish today for you to be in the love of Jesus. Maybe you live with people who don't have love and you are, to, you are told words of hatred. But there is a person who loved you. He's the one I want you to draw close to because he wants you to get to him. His love is not that short. His love is great. His love can find you where you are. You, his love has harms to get to you. Today you have to meet the love of God. The words you were told are not true. The love of God is the only truth you have. There is a love of God. The singer song, when I am lost, you can't take me back. He will never stop to love me when I am not worthy. And what takes me back to Jesus, it is not my power. It is not my works. It is not my deeds. It is to remember his love. I am pleased by the love of Jesus. As we are singing this song, need to enter into a spirit of prayer. Raise your hands and pray about the love of God to come in your heart. Raise your hand where you are. Tell God, my love is not sufficient. But your love is sufficient to me. I love you because you love me. You love me when I was a sinner. You love me when I was not worthy. I praise you for your love. Let's pray. God, I praise you. We were not worthy. We were wanderers. By the love you gave us, you gave us people of We praise you, God, because you love us. Where we are not worthy, we praise you, God, because you love us. When we are evil, my God, may everybody find themselves in your love. Today, as we are gathering here, as we are. Thank you, my God. We give you a round of applause. We give you a round of applause.